This is breaking news. Hi everyone, Kevin Ogle with you. Mike warned us about it yesterday. High fire danger today and it is playing out in Western Canadian County. Let's go out to Mason Dunn in Chopper 4. Mason, where are you and exactly what do we have here? Well, this is just uh, north of Interstate 40, about, oh, probably about a mile. I uh, haven't quite got my bearings yet. It's around Bridgeport and I-40. Uh, you can see large flames here. Uh, it's already burned about, I'm going to say, 50 acres, but large flames here. If we go to the right, Mark Dillard, we, you can see uh, firefighters are working on a house over here, if we can see it in the smoke they're trying to surround this house and save this house there is a lot of cedar trees around this house as you can see they're kind of making a command post here and they're going to have a big fight on their hands uh short well i'm going to say it's going to take about 30 minutes to get to that house but it's all cedar trees to this house so you can see uh, this guy's trying to cut a uh, fire break with a little bobcat there and a front end loader so I think the winds are about 30 uh, out of the south, uh, you know, to the north. So here's the flames. Here's the flames that are coming towards this house. I don't think that fire break is, it, it may help a little, but I don't think it's going to stop it. So uh, we're going to, they're going to have their hands full uh, coming up here, guys. Boy, they really are, Mason. And those cedar trees, have, if you've been in Oklahoma for any time, you know that oil on them, they just blow up when the fire hits them like this. This wildfire in Western Canadian County, we're being told, Mason down over in Chopper 4, you can see that right there. Again, the house is the concern, and any other people, oh, I look at those flames coming out of those trees, incredible. And uh, Mason, it's that oil in those cedars that make these burns so big and so hot. Uh, yes, and the winds are not helping. The humidity is down around 20% out here. Uh, you know, we got a lot of rain during uh, during the fall, and that just uh, kind of made the grass grow. If you don't have your grass cut down low, this is, you know, it's, it helps fan, fan the flames here as they're moving. So I'm just sitting here in a hover. Uh, I am sitting still showing 40 knots on the indicator. So... Uh, like I said, we're out in western uh, Canadian County near the town of Bridgeport, just one mile uh, north of uh, I-40 here. And the winds are blazing, as you can see right there. I'm going to try to come over here on the other side. There is a house out here. It looks like uh, they were able to save. There is some uh, some smoldering trees around it, but it uh, looks like they've already saved one house uh, in this area. So uh, right now, like I said, humidity is down 20%. The winds are about 35 to 40. and uh, But this this uh, fire out here is going to be around for quite some time because I don't think the winds are going to die down. So they got a firefighter on their hands. they got a firestorm out here in uh, western Canadian County. Uh, back to you. Yeah, they just kind of have to get in front of it. And when it comes up on them, that's when they try and deal with it. They have brush bumpers out there, of course, getting into that country. But there's some places you just can't take a brush gum bumper like right here. Uh, but one more before we let you go, Mason, that house that we're worried about now, and you did show us the house that was saved by firefighters. What a job they did there. Usually these houses, right these the farmhouses have clearings around them. Uh, so maybe that might help a little, uh, but the embers off of those cedars are the problem. They, they jump and then they get onto those buildings. Yeah, Kevin, there's probably three homes in this area that's burned so far. Uh, does, doesn't look like any of them burned, so good job for the fire department there uh, keeping that from happening. So uh, right now we're on the uh, we're on the west side looking east now, uh -huh. not, not quite into the sun. As you can see a little better, there are a few houses in there. So you can kind of see where it's burning. Uh, if you go, there's one house that Dillard is showing you. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's another one uh, up here to the left, Dillard, that the flames are that the uh, flames are approaching. Uh, actually, two homes. So uh, we're going to stay out here on it, guys. We'll keep you updated. Mason Dunn reporting from Chopper Four. Back to you. All right, great job, Mason and Mark Dillard up there on the camera.